Hey you guys, I'm so excited. Today I want to share with you how I emboss with my Xtool F1 Ultra and we get images like this. Let me see if I can show you, if I can get the camera to focus. This is really deep engraving on brass coins. This is challenge coins. They look just like this. And this is the engraving we got. I don't know if you can tell the depth in there, but we've got some really nice deep engraving. Very, very happy with the results. And um, I also have this one over here. And today I'm going to show you exactly how I prepare my image, uh, what settings I use for this. We'll talk about all of this in today's video and we will do this coin over here together. So that's what we'll be doing in today's video. Now, before I get to the computer, I'll be recording my screen. I will show you, like I said, all the settings and everything, how to do it. But before we do that, I'm going to bring you in closer, show you all my coins that I've done today. I've been working here in the shop with the um, Xtool F1 Ultra since 8 in the morning, and it's almost 8 o'clock at night now. So this machine has been going nonstop until two minutes ago when it stopped and it finished the last uh, coin, the one with the hummingbird. So this machine has been going for 12 hours straight and um, had no problem, did not overheat. I didn't got any kind of bad messages or anything. It's been working perfectly. And if you're looking to purchase this machine, please do use my link in the description below. It is an affiliate link. That means to no extra cost to you. I will earn a small commission. Um, but right now, let's get you closer, uh, look at my coins, and I will explain a few things before we get started and embed that coin. So these are the coins I've been working on today. Like I said, I've been here since 8 a.m. And the first time I tried to do this uh, embossing, I got something like this, black coins, burned. Um, I couldn't figure it out. And then I kind of got, whoops, I just bumped the tripod, I'm sorry. And then I kind of started to figure out a little bit the setting and I started getting this kind of an engrave, which was nothing uh, deep and, you know, embossed like the X-Tool showed in the videos. And I couldn't figure out what I was doing wrong. Um, you know, they were just like barely scratching the, the surface, nothing impressive. So then I figured it out. Um, let me just show you something. These two images, for example, here, they're exactly the same file, the same image, the same setting, but uh, the only thing is different, they are inverted. So right here, you can see the design in the middle, it's deeper, it's deep engraved and it's dark, where here it's raised up. So that's the only difference on those two coins. So you can get two different looks uh, with one file. And I bought all these designs on Etsy. I did not make them, but Xtool, they do, you can make uh, embossing files on their software. Pretty easy to make. Also, if you have Photoshop, that's another option. Really easy to make. Let me see if I can get this to focus. Look at that depth over there. Super, super pretty. And this was, this one, actually this coin, I just pulled it out of the machine two minutes ago before I started filming. The one I tried this morning was something like this. So after 12 hours, finally figured it out. Now, in case of this design, we have two different, this is the same exact file, but the settings were different. And this one, as you can see, it's a very nice engraving, but it's not a deep embossing. Um, you can feel it with your fingernail. It definitely went into the metal, but nothing super deep where this one, it does have a lot of depth to it. I don't know if I can show you on the camera. I'm in the shop, like I said, it's late at night, but it does have depth. It has just as much depth as this hummingbird, where I think you can see it better just because it's not as busy, the design, but super, super cool. And I'm going to show you the process on how to make this. I just want to let you know that uh, the settings I will show you when you run the file for the first half hour of uh, the time the machine is running, your coin is going to look like this. And this is what I did. I wasn't aware of it. So my coin was getting black. I was stopping the machine, trying to change the settings. And then I'll try something else and end up like this. And the problem is it will look like this for the first 30 minutes. And then it starts shaping into something like this. So if you see your coin just going all black, just let it do its job. It's going to take two hours, two and a half hours per coin, per design. But in the end, it is all worth it. And um, 
yeah, don't, uh, don't just stop the machine, just let it go, let it do its thing. Um, let's uh, start the video and show you how I did this. So I'll be using one of these golden coins, I believe is brass. I'm not sure what they are. I bought them on Amazon. They come in a pack of, I don't know, 20, 50. I can't even remember. Um, I will put them in the link in the description below. They come in gold color and also they come in silver color. So for today's try, I will be using the gold one. So they come in these plastic cases and it's just a blank coin. And I'm going to bring you to the machine. I'm going to show you all my settings and I'm going to show you exactly how I will be doing this. So come in close. As you can see, I have my machine here. I do have a slate in there just in case I uh, don't frame right. I don't want it to cut or engrave the metal base. So I just put the slate material in there. And then I am going to record my screen so you can see exactly what is happening on my screen. And I have this depth map image. Um, I really like this design. I thought it would be a really cute one to try. So then when you pick your design, you put it on your material, you want to make sure you're onto the emboss. So you see for the processing type, I have emboss. And then for my parameters, I'm going to use the fiber uh, laser, not the blue light. I'm going to use the fiber. Number of layers, 256, and that seems to be the maximum they will allow you to do. For the power, I'll keep it at 100%, and for speed, I'll keep it at 400. For the passes, I will put one lines per centimeter, 100. Engraving angle, I will have it at 15. And then descend on Z-axis, I'll turn it on. And I'll make it so every two layers, so for every N layer, which is number two in here, for every second layer, it's going to lower the laser head by 0.01. So those are my settings for this. And now let's see, we need to make sure we are framing this on the coin. So click on your image and then if you go to processing, um, we're gonna click refresh. And then you can see my overlaying here. I can move my design and put it on top of this coin. And then I also can, I, I can click this framing button and double check. I don't know if you can see this on the design. There's a blue light around it and it looks like maybe I need to move it just a little bit more up. Maybe something like that. My design might be just a little bit too big. I make it a tiny little smaller. And then I am going to stop the framing, close the door. You want to close the door for focusing. I'm going to do an auto focus in here where you have thickness. Just click on this button and it will focus right on the material over there to take a thickness. And I can see it was a little bit different than my last coin. My last was 1120. This is 1140. So we have it right there now and let's frame again, make sure that nothing shifted. Um, it looks like I need to move a little bit more up to the left. That looks pretty good. If we're not perfect here, I don't really care that much. I just want to show you the process. Um, and I am going to close this. I am going to stop framing and I'm going to double check that my settings still stay the same. So 256, 100, 400. Yes, everything looks great. I'm going to go to process and let me give you, get you a little bit closer. Oh, I had to show you one more thing. I did manipulate my image a little bit. Let's see if I can get you in closer. Okay. 
something like that. Actually, I'm going to flip you around. Hold on. So I did manipulate the image. Let me go back. Uh, if I go into my image and adjustments, I did um, add a little bit of sharpness on my sharpness. Now it's at 54. And then for the grayscale, I have the left slider set at 30 and the right slider at 213. And that just gives it more contrast. That way the deeper parts are deeper and the brighter parts are brighter. So with that said, I'm going to click on process and we get this cute little black and white design here. I am going to click start, then I am going to set you on a time lapse because this is going to take a couple of hours and uh, I don't want to record a couple of hours of 4K videos. I'm going to do a time lapse and then I will show you the video when, you know, I edit this in post. So let's do start. And it's ready. I'll be pushing this button over here. And there it goes.